Hello everyone and welcome back to another one of my videos in this little series that I've been doing. And in the last video I showed you how to use group channels. If you've not seen that video yet then go and check it out. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to use markers, rulers and an arranger. And yep, let's get to the video. Click that like button and subscribe if you're new here. Let's go. Right, so let's add in a marker channel we're going to right click on this panel again right here and i'm going to click add marker track we don't need to create a name for it we're just going to add the track in and i always prefer to have these at the very top of the project just so it looks a little bit more neater and right so what is a marker track so say i want to keep track of all of the chords that I'm using here or just make notes on the project in general I can just select a point where I want a marker to be and then if you click on this this icon here the add marker icon that will then create a marker and it's just a little number that pops up so I'm going to put one there I'm going to put one right at the end so I know that that's the end of the track so how do I rename these markers into something that's a bit more useful so say I want to name this one the end of the track. Okay, so what you want to do is make sure the marker track is selected by clicking on it. And you can see this open in the inspector window here. This is the inspector panel. And it also shows you the stuff that's uh, on the screen. So you can hide certain tracks if you want to. That's just a little side thing for you. If you ever want to mess about with visibility of tracks and stuff. Right, back to markers. So I'm going to click this E here, open marker window. And it's basically the description that we want to edit. So number two, I want it to say end of track. So I'm just going to double click where it says description. I'm going to name it end of song. Press enter. And there we go. End of song. On number one, I want it to say this is bar three enter there we go it's just a quick way of keeping track of things in your project like when you have a lot of things going on you can just put markers down like i use it for like say i'm doing harmonies for orchestral stuff i could use it for say this is in first inversion or something or this is in second inversion this is open position harmony just stuff like that i'll use it for just really keeping track of everything that's going on in projects. The next thing is rulers. Rulers are another useful thing. This in itself at the top of the screen is a ruler. The bar numbers. So we can add another one of them if you want. So we right click again on this section. Add ruler track. I'm going to click add track. And this is showing the bar numbers again. We can move this around so put it at the bottom if i want to show the bar numbers down there if you then click on this where it says bars and beats you can change it to other things so change it to seconds so we can see our song now is eight seconds long so bar five eight seconds long i can move this track anywhere i want again so I'll put it up there with the the markers and that's just another useful thing to have. I, it, like if I'm writing something for, say, a video, someone's asked me to write the soundtrack to a video, I'll need to know the timestamp. So at 10 seconds, such a thing happens. So I would look there, 10 seconds. Let's put a marker there. So add marker and let's put stuff happens. That's how I would use that. Next thing on the list is arranger tracks. So again, we're going to right click here and we're going to put add arranger track. This is actually something that's uh, that I've only recently discovered. I've never really used arrangers because I, I use markers quite a lot. But one of my friends told me about it and I've not looked back since. I can't do a project now without adding an arranger track as well. So. What I use arranger tracks for is basically just to outline a simple structure of a song. So 
what I've done is I've clicked the draw tool at the top and then I'm just going to drag across so that is now a section A of the song and then say I want the chorus to come in for two bars that's now section B then let's go back to section A I'm just going to drag this across there's section section C and like the markers tracks as well you can adjust these so I'm going to click on the E here you can rename all of these as well all you do is you hold alt on your keyboard and then you double click on the name here so I'm going to put song for that and then hold alt again double click on the B section let's call that chorus and then C section can stay C section it's basically just another way to visualize the structure of your song what I would do is I would outline the whole sections of the song like verse chorus bridge ending etc using the arranger channels and then anything that I want to just make a little note of I would use the marker channel so I've got to have loads of different markers around everywhere and this is just a way to visualize stuff if you want to change the color of one of these sections so say I want the song to be I don't know blue you click on the section and then you click on the color tool here at the top and we're just going to put that to blue and then when you click away from it that would then be blue so that is how you make things a lot easier for yourself by using markers rulers and arrangers it's just like a quick way to visualize everything so that's it for this video if this has helped in any way then click that like button and subscribe for more of my videos and i'll see you next time thanks for watching leave your comments below again don't forget <laughs>